We got a new report out yesterday from the Charity Commission. They've ordered the trans charity Mermaids to stop giving chest binders to children without their parents' permission or without their, against their parents' express wishes. Uh, and children as young as 13, young children as young as girls uh, covering their breasts, doing damage to their breasts because they believe have been mistakenly told that they were born as a boy, but also falsely claiming that puberty blockers are reversible when we know they're not. Basically going against all of the advice uh, from the Hillary Cass review that uh, was supposedly accepted by all institutions, including the NHS uh, and the then government at the time. Oh, indeed, and the Labour Party, the new government. Well, let's talk about all this with Maya Forstetter. She's the executive director of Sex Matters. Uh, good afternoon to you. Hello, Julia. And uh, now, those who have been following this issue for as many years as you and I have, um, perhaps won't know much about mermaids. They've not been in the news so much lately. Can you just give us just a, a, a short explanation of what mermaids is, who Susie G Green is, who set up mermaids, and what they have been doing over recent years? So Mermaid started as a self-help group for parents who had children with gender issues um, and it became a charity I think in 2015 uh, and Susie Green is a parent, was a parent of a, of a boy um, who she transitioned, she, she had him, took him to America uh, got puberty blockers prescribed for him and at the age of 16 took him to Thailand to be castrated, which yeah. is illegal um, in the UK. Yeah. And then she became the CEO of this organisation, which is extraordinary. And it went from being a small uh, self-help group of, of parents to raising money from corporates, training the NHS, training the police, advising organisations like uh, Scouts and Girl Guides about how they should um, treat children with these issues, uh, training schools and um, referring children to the Tavistock. Yeah. Basically, it was advocating for child transition, wasn't it? it? Basically, you know, if you think you're born in the wrong body, you are born in the wrong body, you need to go and get you know therapy for this you need to go and get puberty blockers you need to get on that tram line that leads directly to full transitioning they promoted that narrative they promoted the idea that parents had to choose between you know having a a, a dead son or a live daughter that's that's what that's what they said something that's um, still and, still being often said still on the internet people saying yeah. completely for the idea that children who aren't encouraged transition and and affirmed that term that, that actually they're, they're more likely to take their lives. There is no statistical evidence for this whatsoever. And, and actually we know that unhappiness of people who have transitioned, particularly younger people, is actually greater. Um, uh, and, and hence why we've had the Hillary Cass review looking into the actual facts and, and undermining a lot of this. Now, the Mermaids Charity was one of the many groups, like the Stonewalls and others, that basically completely poo-pooed the Cass review, like a lot of lunatic Labour backbenchers who certainly said, absolutely just said, you know, there's not good evidence of what Hillary Cass has said in her review of, of, of these, uh, uh, these it's basically trans services for children. Um, even though, of course, she's a leading paediatrician, she's uh, incredibly, uh, uh, you know, knowledgeable on the subject and had pretty much spoken to every expert in the field and looked at every study. Um, what has the Charity Commission now done and said as a result of looking into the result of many organisations complaining about mermaids, uh, what, including, I imagine, your organisation too? What has the Charity Commission now said? One of the most important things it has said is that anything that they do must be uh, consistent and compliant with the recommendations of the CAS review. So they've told them that they should not and cannot anymore say on their website that puberty blockers are reversible um, and that they're life-saving. And although they've stopped the um, programme of sending out binders, if they were to restart it, they the trustees would have to consider uh, the advice of the CAS review. Uh, so, so those two things that they they have said, um, and they've said that there was mismanagement in the charity. Obviously, Susie Green um, left, uh, as the report says, because the trustees lost confidence in her. Um, but that was in 2022. Mm. Uh, they've known all the way along. And and the other thing the report says is that there, there have been 41 trustees over the past seven years. Uh, so this huge turnover of people who are supposed to be responsible for the charity. And meanwhile, they knew from the very beginning that there was a conflict of interest um, and that, that they were doing something, I think, very irresponsible. Yeah.
But, 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 but also, you know, I mean, this is a charity. Again, people often think, oh, it's charity for these, these poor parents worried about their children. Uh, they get a turnover, an annual income of almost 2.3 million people. They say they support more than 10,000 people every year. Now, um, you know, th this is this is on an industrial scale. Now, uh, J.K. Rowling uh, pointed out last night on social media that this, she said, you know, this is big. They, this is the single most influential activist group regarding child transition in the UK. Stonewall has been more about sort of, you know, adult transition, uh, hasn't it, really? Um, but basically, she also, you know, pointed out, you know, what what, what the, the Charity Commission had pointed out, but but also um, uh, suggested they've just simply not shown sufficient due diligence checks when they're recruiting trustees. One of their trustees was Jacob Breslau. He resigned. It was a real. He'd participated in a conference for a paedophile support group. There's been lots of concern about the number of paedophiles. Uh, I mean, not saying he's a paedophile, but he'd participated in a conference who who have an interest in this. And we often talk about these different people talk about these different genders and gender identities. Um, and 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 one of them is these was it you know minor attracted people maps as opposed to paedophiles, which is what the rest of us would call them. Uh, there was also a guy called Darren Mew. He was Mermaid's digital engagement officer. He uh, was found to have dressed up as a schoolgirl and posted pictures of his genitals on social media. These are not the sort of people you want involved in a charity, no. dealing with very vulnerable, mixed-up children. And we know the cast review is very clear on this, although this was known, and people like you and your organisation, Helen Joyce and others, have been making this clear for the last decade, that actually, you know, we've known for years that the majority of children who go, uh, who believe, will turn up at clinic believing that they are born in the wrong body um, they've either been abused uh, by somebody they, they've got mental other mental health problems uh, they suffer from autism or or they or they're actually gay uh, and they just for some reason in their family circumstance where they feel that they they can't they can't come out and they're pushed into transitioning I mean these are the most vulnerable children on the planet and they're being treated as just sort of fodder for these organizations Yes, I mean, whatever issues a child has in their life, it cannot be the right thing to block their puberty um, and to, to sterilise them and to promise them yeah. something that is impossible that they can change sex. Um, and, you know, thankfully, the government has upheld um, the ban on puberty blockers, so, so that has stopped. In the NHS, but they're still in available in private clinics. And we know that people true. don't left the Tavistock Clinic online. and they're busy setting up a new clinic in Nottingham. Uh, for Yes. They're, I mean, they're, they're setting up new clinics to deal with the mental health of children in the NHS and you, you can still get puberty blockers online internationally. Uh, but I think the fact that mermaids can no longer be going into schools promoting these things, is it is big. Yeah, absolutely. Although, why anyone ever thought it was acceptable? I mean, my own daughter's school had a, a trans activist uh, who, who came out apparently as trans, uh, you know, in, in, in his in his middle age, and he brings his wife along with him, talking to the girls in my daughter's school. I mean, yeah, they certainly they certainly know how I feel about that, uh, Maya. That that that's for sure. And, and, and my my daughter's school is one of the saner schools as well. Um, it's just extraordinary. This stuff is being sold to our kids. It's a complete lie. It, it is child abuse. It's as simple as that. And that's not to say attacking people who want to live as if they were born a different sex, but but they're not, um, and they can live their lives and wear what they want. But but we shouldn't be telling our children that this is something they should do. No, we, I mean, organisations that have access to vulnerable children should be absolutely the most careful. And you know, I think the fact that they had uh, for a turnover of forty-one trustees, the the fact that there have been complaints about this going yeah. back to you know to. 2016 um and complaints yeah. the national lottery and for them now to turn around and say oh we you know we've just lost confidence in the ceo yeah. and fixing things and it, it's all quite minor um i don't think is i don't think is realistic no absolutely uh, do you think uh making sure that anything they do from now on sticks within the cast review uh is is a good thing. Yeah, I think we have to uh, keep uh, keep the notice of the grinders today because I don't think this battle is won yet by any st uh, stretch of the imagination. But it, you guys at Sex Matters have just done amazing work. You know, you're my heroes. Maya Forrestetter, Executive Director of Sex Matters. Thank you very much.